Okay, I'm standing outside 13 by South Close in Ilford. Um, we're right at the end of a cul-de-sac here. If I turn you around, you'll see it's quite a nice, quiet residential street. In fact, if you go down that little footpath right in front of us there, you get to Claybury Park. There's lots of green spaces around here. Good schools as well. You've got the Caterham High School easy walking distance away but I'm going to look at this property here as you can see it's a 1950 semi-detached and uh, with a garage on the side and it has been extended uh, to the side over the garage as you can see with the flat roof and a couple of pigeons sitting on it this property does have a low maintenance uh, front garden and a driveway that leaves leads up to um, leads up to the garage door and in fact some of the neighbours have uh, kind of used that for parking but the current owners don't but you could do of course um, got a front porch it's all double glazed this property um, and it's got uh, gas central heating as well um, with a boiler done about 10 years ago here's the front porch uh, and the gas meter. This was actually revised many years ago to add a downstairs um, shower room as well, which I think works really well. I take you through into the main sitting room. You've got the bay window to the front. It's a really nice, quiet close, as you can see. And if I turn you Gently round, you'll see it's a nice big open plan sitting dining room, double aspect. The property's actually got um, heat source air, heat source pumps throughout Hitachi model in a number of the rooms, um, which are all controlled as well. Which I think everyone's going to end up with in a few years' time. I spin you round, you will see the main sitting room. So not only has this been property been extended over the kitchen, sorry, over the um, garage, but the kitchen's been extended as well. This section here was the original kitchen. And if I stand you in the corner, you will see that that kitchen has now been extended out to the rear. Um, to make a much bigger space. It's got some rather fantastic uh, period. I don't know if they're 60s tiles, they look like it. Very good. So, let's go and have a look upstairs. Um, the electrics actually, at least the consumer unit has been upgraded. You can't really see it there, but you will really come around, but it has been upgraded, but it will re re need some rewiring this house, I'm sure. So let's go and have a look upstairs. So the original three bedroom layout has the master bedroom at the front. It's very classic, really, the way typical three bed semi of the era. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks, this room, but it's got loads of wardrobes, which was very much the fashion in those days. Um, that's a double bedroom. Then we've got a single bedroom here, but it is a pretty good single. Um, which would originally have been bedroom three, but is now bedroom five. Fairly typical of the era, we've got a separate cloakroom and shower room. But as so often people nowadays, people take that wall out and make it all one. And here's what would have been bedroom two. Now, when they did this conversion, this extension over the loft they didn't put a corridor in here um, but you obviously could do making that back bedroom a little bit smaller but it was still quite a decent size so they added a couple more bedrooms here but you've got to walk you've currently got to walk through one to get to the other here is the smaller of the two bedroom four and here's bedroom three Pretty decent, actually. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'll take you outside and I will show you the garden. So here I am out in the garden. As you can see, it's a decent one with a greenhouse. First of all, though, what I'm going to do is quickly show you into the garage. There is actually a workshop here, um, which has got electric power. And then we go through into the garage. Of course, what you could do is you could knock through um, to make more living space if you wanted. In fact, this back bit would make quite a good utility room, which I think a lot of people do with these sort of houses. So if I stand over here, you'll see you've got uh, patio to the rear and you can see the kitchen extension with the felt roof. You go past uh, the lawn and the greenhouse, quite a large greenhouse actually. And the garden goes into the back bit. So you've got like a mini orchard at the back with some fruit trees. I think you've got three, four maybe apple trees out there. But if I walk you down, you'll see there's quite a lot more um, to this garden. Looks like it might've had a pond at one point. And um, if I bring you round, you will see the back of the house and the solar panels. Um, there is a feed-in tariff. They are fully owned by the property, those. So they do get some money off your bills. Yeah, so there you have it. Um, for more information, please phone Nigel Adams on 01992 878 580.